Please subscribe to this channel and also tap the notification bell in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos. The peel of non-involvement in the Martinez Zugu affair of the Finance Minister Louis Paul Mutazi and the Justice Minister Lorang Esso has difficulty passing for the observers. Many people feel that more research is needed on both sides. Problem is, they are members of the government who are difficult to arrest without any authorization from the one who signed the appointment, Paul Bia. It is common knowledge that the businessman Jean Pierre Mugubelinga maintains privileged relations with the two aforementioned public figures, namely the keeper of the seals, Laurent Esso, and the financial arm, Louis Paul Motazi. It is even suspected that they helped each other to repeatedly embezzle money from the state's coffers. The Director General of Amplitude FM Radio, Martinez Zugu, killed, had also come to the same conclusion. In the various numbers of his very popular program, Ambuteyaj, he denounced them. This must not have pleased the people who were pointed out. The rest, everyone knows. Martinez Zuko was kidnapped, tortured, mutilated and then murdered. The murderers got rid of his body in Ebogo, a district of Yaoundé. If it is true that Jean-Pierre Mugubelinga was charged as well as the boss of the DGRE, Leopold Maxim Eko Eko, the fact remains that the population is still thirsty for justice. Especially since the billionaire, the owner of the Vision Quatre, is thrown into prison only in complicity in torture by help. The ministers Laurent Esso and Louis Paul Motaze are free, despite all the serious revelations that have been made concerning them. We have learned that Leopold Maxim Eko Eko's right hand man, Lieutenant Colonel Justin Downey, spoke during his hearing at the Secretary of State for Defense, SED. The one who has been described for a while as the head of the operations for the physical elimination of Martinez Zogo would have swung Jean-Pierre Mugubelinga and Laurent Esso. Consequently, like all citizens, Remy Ngono does not understand why these ministers who have been cited are still sitting comfortably at home without being picked up to put them before the facts. He stated in one of his revelations that Louis Paul Mutaze and Laurent Esso must join Jean-Pierre Mugubelinga at Kondengi prison in Yaoundé.